Hello friends, and welcome to Miss Filmy, today I am reviewing Pain Hustlers Movie 2023. In the sprawling tapestry of, Pain Hustlers, director David Yates attempts to weave a tale of extremes, seeking to juxtapose the allure of wealth and excess with the stark realities of addiction and suffering. The film centers on Liza Drake, an unconventional single mother whose audacious marketing strategies trigger a devastating epidemic. Yet, despite its potential for gripping storytelling, Yates' narrative falls flat, chronicling Liza's journey without truly delving into the depths of either her triumphs or tribulations. Yates tantalizingly teases the audience, opening with a staged black and white documentary featuring Pete Brenner's candid dismay over Liza's betrayal. Liza emerges as an enigma, an improbable mother with limited formal education who dismantled an empire. The shift from documentary to the semi-fictional world of, Pain Hustlers, reveals Liza's struggle, as she grapples with eviction and her daughter Phoebe's debilitating medical condition. The screenplay, penned by Wells Tower, brims with sardonic wit that often sours against the backdrop of Liza's desperation. Evicted from her sister's garage, Liza and Phoebe seek refuge in a noisy motel, where the constant turmoil threatens Phoebe's fragile health. It's in this fragile state that Pete re-enters Liza's life, offering a tantalizing proposition. The promise of substantial earnings lures Liza into the world of a pharmaceutical startup, peddling a potentially dangerous drug. Emily Blunt's performance is a standout in the film, imbuing Liza with gritty determination. Yet, misguided stylistic choices, a surplus of freeze frames and superfluous voiceovers, diminish the impact of Blunt's portrayal. Liza's character, while resolute, is somewhat one-dimensional. Her ascent from motel dweller to affluent condo owner lacks complexity, driven solely by her unwavering belief in the drug's efficacy. The supporting cast, unfortunately, fails to elevate the material. Chris Evans, though compelling in other roles, struggles to breathe life into the character of Pete. The chemistry among the ensemble falls flat, leaving the interactions feeling forced and devoid of verve. The visual and auditory elements similarly falter, failing to capture the intoxicating essence of opulence and decadence that Scorsese so masterfully portrays. Where, Pain Hustlers, does find its footing is in moments of sincerity. Scenes depicting the devastating consequences of addiction strike a poignant chord, offering a glimpse into the human toll of the startup's machinations. Yet, these moments are sparse, leaving the film caught between critiquing the heartlessness of the pharmaceutical industry and reveling in its excess. Ultimately, Pain Hustlers, falls short of its potential, unable to commit to the extremes that could have made it a truly gripping expose. Despite Blunt's valiant efforts, the film is hampered by uninspired creative choices and a lack of depth in its characters. Yates' attempt to blend elements of, Aaron Brockovich, and, The Wolf of Wall Street, results in a narrative that never quite achieves the heights of either. In Yates' pursuit to blend the audacity of, Aaron Brockovich, with the decadence of, The Wolf of Wall Street, the film's visual and sonic language falters. Dizzying montages of unrestrained partying and greed lack the finesse and intoxicating allure that Martin Scorsese has mastered in similar scenes. The fervor of capitalists chasing after wealth feels contrived rather than authentically edgy. The film does find its strength in moments of genuine emotion. When Liza confronts the grim reality of addiction and hears first-hand accounts of lives lost to overdose, the film transcends its surface-level narrative. These moments of raw human connection resonate, offering a poignant contrast to the unbridled pursuit of wealth that dominates much of the story. Emily Blunt's portrayal of Liza remains the film's saving grace. Through her performance, Blunt breathes life into a character that could easily have been reduced to a caricature. Liza's unwavering belief that she is alleviating suffering, coupled with her personal connection to her daughter's seizures, lends depth to her otherwise straightforward narrative arc. Blunt skillfully navigates the undercurrent of empathy that grounds Liza's actions. Despite Blunt's commendable efforts, Pain Hustlers, ultimately struggles to find its footing. 
The film teeters on the edge of a powerful expose, but it never fully commits to the extremes that would have made it truly compelling. The ensemble cast, while talented, is hindered by lackluster material, failing to ignite the chemistry needed to elevate the story. In the end, Pain Hustlers, stands as a missed opportunity, a film that flirts with the potential for greatness but never fully embraces it. The juxtaposition of wealth and suffering remains intriguing, yet the execution falls short of delivering the visceral impact that such a narrative demands. With Emily Blunt's commendable performance at its core, the film manages to tread the line between sincerity and excess, but it ultimately leaves the audience yearning for a more decisive and resonant exploration of its subject matter.